All right, so ROI, uh, what's going to be the next one for the 25 to 100K level? So just to give you the kind of simplified list, because you, you, Todd, you and I kind of just walked through them quickly. But again, I hit 25K a month in revenue. All of a sudden, bookkeeping needs to actually be accurate. I'm probably not going to have time to do it myself. I need to hire someone or bring on a team, make bookkeeping an easy button where it's accurate. That's the first. The second one, we just talked about return on inventory investment where I'm actually, this can be a spreadsheet or you can probably do this through your same dashboarding tool, but I want to really kind of prioritize products that have a better batting average or a higher impact every time I turn them. And then the third one is, okay, uh, actually, Todd, you mentioned this as your kind of favorite KPI. What are my inventory turns per year? How many times per year do I get to recycle that same capital? Like, because guys, if you think about this, every business has some amount of working capital that's kind of in it. And unless I want to have to borrow in perpetuity, let's just keep borrowing more loans, more loans, more loans. I've got to build a business that gets faster inventory turns where I can just use that same dollar. So those were, those were the big things we talked about. And then the final one that we mentioned there, again, we're not going to get into too much of the math, but if I'm focused on ROI and velocity, I can then calculate, if you guys are into game theory, I can actually calculate what's called an EV. What's my expected value for every dollar I invest? That's the KPI that I called return on working capital. For every 12-month period, how much happier am I for every dollar I invest in this business? And just know that that's the holy grail. That's the one that um, I'll give you a really a, a quick case study on this. I have a, a CFO client that does almost 10 million a year in revenue on Amazon. They have a huge catalog, very complex operation. And applying a method of going through and looking at their products based on return on working capital, which is just my batting average times my number of bats per year. Mm -hmm. And then they were able to actually kill about 800 SKUs of their roughly 10,000 and basically get $120,000 in cash back into the business that was stuck in dead inventory. And so using this kind of return on capital mantra, again, this is my soapbox. I love return on capital because it is the theoretically the best way to evaluate any of our businesses. If you stink at evaluating businesses, like it doesn't need to be me. Hire someone that's good at with a spreadsheet. You can, they can do this for you. It's not that hard. But I think that's where you go from being a, okay, I made it. I actually have a business now to having a wildly successful seven-figure business. And what would you say is a elite level inventory turn? It depends on the product. I mean, elite level, like, first of all, if, if you, uh, Todd and I remember the old days where you had these drop shippers that technically had almost infinite inventory turns because they never had to pay for the product until they already sold it. But for most Asian supply chain, private label kind of brands, if I can get three, four five turns a year, I'm pretty happy. But again, it's almost like that, uh, sliding scale we talked about with advertising, the more turns I have the more acceptable it is to have a slightly lower return on investment, right? Those two, those two, like I can be wildly successful with my strength being margin. And I can, you know, like you may have a, a supplier that has a pretty high MOQ, the minimum order quantity is like maybe 10,000 units. And so I'm going to have to sit on like six months of inventory. That would only be two turns per year. But if I have outrageously high margins, I might still be okay with that trade-off. I think the point is that, again, Todd and I are kind of trying to convince you guys, you got to view them in tandem. You can't just focus on velocity. You can't just focus on margin. You got to focus on them together.